Hey YouTube. So, past couple days I've been working on getting that piece finished. Now it's all finished and primer, as well as this frame extensions here to get to the front of the truck where I want to end. So, I've cut these off already. This is where I want to end with these. And um, they're not fastened yet, they're not welded together. Now there is a, uh, because it's a angle that opens, that I have to grind a little bit there and stuff and bring that together. I just have them setting up. But I had to weld that piece in on both sides to close in the gap for the, for when I opened uh, the angle up. So those are in place. The frame's not racked yet. In other words, it's not uh, square as I want it. This front section um, has to be set up a little bit yet, so I know that where they belong. And then I'll tack them in place and go from there. I have a string running down. That string's right in the center back there, under the center line mark right there. So when I run that string through the center of the frame, at this point it's 45 inches wide, so I need to have 22 and a half inches on each side of the string. So I'll ch be checking that. That'll square the frame up as far as uh, where these ends are supposed to be. And as long as they're 45 inches, they should attach to the truck pretty well. So, um, anyway, the um, part that I want to go on to there, you can see underneath where the frame is narrow, then it widens, right underneath where it says 45. You can see that. That's where I want to attach the, the new frame to. So, um, Pretty soon I'm going to have to be able to move this thing around. So once I get it all welded together, like I had said in one of the other videos, I'm going to put uh, wheels or casters or something on it so I can move it about. And then I'm going to start to take the cab off the truck probably next week sometime. I had to get my grass cut and everything else, so I had to sort of leave this alone a little bit. You can see the the gap there is pretty much even on the way down. The problem is is that web on the inside there needs to be trimmed off a little bit. Same thing with this top. It needs to be trimmed off on the left far side there to make it a nice fit. So I'll grind them down to like a 30 degree angle on both sides. This one and this one. Cut it, take an eighth of an inch off of this back at this end and then I'll weld them together. I'll put a backing plate on it because I don't want any I want a hundred percent penetration. If I put a backing plate on there I'll get that. If I don't put the backing plate on I may not get that with this thickness especially in the web area because the web is you can see it there it's a lot thicker than what um, the rest of the channel is. So that's what I'm going to do there. Um, this weld here I ground down. Well, what you're seeing there is not a crack. That's just a, um, it's a cut into the side of the metal a little bit. So I didn't finish grinding it. I just wanted to get some paint on it. It's supposed to rain tomorrow again. So then that's what I'll do to get this thing together. And then I got to bolt this on. This actually has to come back this way up onto here a little bit. So I'm going to have to put a notch in there or maybe heat this corner up just to get it to fit in here better. I'm not worried about that at the moment though. I can figure out where that goes a little bit later. And then once I get this all welded together, I'm going to make a tram gauge out of rebar that will start back here at the bolts for where the bed mounts. The bed mounts in this one and this one right here on both sides. So what I'll do is I'll put a gauge, I'll put a, out of rebar, I'll make a gauge, I'll weld the gauge together to fit from that to the other um, sections of the bed. 
and I'll do that by making the gauge out of the truck that's already existing the uh, parts that show where the bed goes back in here and then there's two of them up front here this one and that one so I'll make a gauge that uh, is welded and racked together in such a way that that gauge will tell me exactly where to put these as long as I have it uh, set level and I have it in the um, back ones back there in the back holes so anyway that's where I'm at so far it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be of course putting that stuff on here might be I had to order some heavier metal because when I started uh, checking out the thicknesses of these of the metal for these spring perches here or spring hangers it, it's not it's thicker than uh, 11 gauge not by much just a little bit but I ordered some plate to be able to weld them together and also this thing's a little heavier than 11 gauge so I'm going to use the plate to make those so I'll get back to you after I get some more done thanks have a good one